This is Reincarnated Art. Yeah. My name's Jordan T. <laughs> Mystic. And I'm an artist from Sydney, Australia. And this is Reincarnated Art. Let's do it. You see, it all started in the lockdowns of 2020. I had an old denim jacket. I hadn't worn it for a while. Thought I might as well paint it. I was thinking about the environment and how we as artists can use our work to just do that little bit to save the environment. And that's when it hit me. Recycling. So I began this project by taking a sketch from my sketchbook, sitting down at my desk with my iPad and Procreate and digitizing. So I scanned in the sketch I then turned on the drawing assist setting on Procreate 5 and set it to symmetry and did the line work so that it would be symmetrical. That was the idea of the original design. I colored the design on Procreate and then attempted to transfer it to the jacket, but the gray transfer paper I had didn't transfer very well onto the denim. So I painted it white, transferred it again and began painting. I did some initial solids of most of the colors and then washed it to see how it would go. However, I had previously put some towels in the wash and put vinegar into that wash and forgot. So this happened. So I just painted over it. It was annoying, but I repainted it and that was the only thing I could do. However, the silver lining on it was actually kind of cool. I ended up with this rugged, damaged sort of look to some of the colors and I just went with it. The reds were a bit difficult to get in the first color, but I ended up changing over from the Derwents to the Joe Sonyas. This day here or this afternoon was really cool because I had some time to myself to smash this out and as I was recording, my best friend who now lives in Queensland turned up. It was really quite serendipitous and it's been a long time since I've seen him so I'm glad I've got a record of it. Anyway, next thing is the highlights and the purples. And despite its humble, sorry, this is like, and despite its humble beginnings, the idea just stuck with me and it got bigger and bigger and bigger until it was out of control. I couldn't do anything about it. So as you can see on day two, I got through quite a bit, skipped a bit of footage here, but on day three, I managed to get the purples and quite a few of the highlights with the leaves and the feathers there going. I did discover that the outline that I sort of freehanded and did by eye just wasn't really working. So I taped it up and decided to do a completely white background. And then later on, I was gonna add some color of some sort, not quite sure what yet. It did make it a little bit like stiff as a board, but that was kind of okay because once I wash it, it's gonna loosen up a bit because it's got that fabric medium, that Joe Sonia's fabric medium built in. You just gotta run it through the wash once, no vinegar. And it made for a really solid canvas to work on and paint on. Oh, it's time for the close up, slow-mo, B-roll, break. Me and the 
this paintbrush will I, will I love us? Oh, it's the close-up slow-mo slow jam into me The close up, slow mo, slow jam into me. The idea was to take old, unloved and forgotten items from around the house, like denim jackets, skateboards, even guitars, surfboards, you name it, and give them new life by hand painting my designs on them. Thus, reincarnated art. Like it just made sense to take old stuff if I was going to be recycling and looking after the environment. It made sense to start buying up skateboards on places like Marketplace and at thrift shop because why would I go and buy something brand new off the shelf that was manufactured when the idea was to save the environment? It made sense to me. But in saying that, a lot of the world doesn't. I chose blue for the background because of the blue denim jacket. So at this stage in the process, I found myself doing the line work and I found it quite difficult to do the line work on the easel. So I pulled it down and put it on a table. I uh, wasn't too sure to begin with what color I was gonna do the line work in, but this is a really fun stage because I got to really test out my line work skills. And yeah, I ended up with this dark gold, which I think came out really well. So this piece, this jacket was not easy to do. It took a long time and it was a cold winter. It really was quite a cold winter. There's no denying that. I was in the garage most of the time in a jacket, as you can see in the video here, and not just the jacket that I was painting. <laughs> I, I did find myself really disappearing into this piece though, because it was a solace and I was finally starting to really execute on an idea and this thing that had just been floating over my head for so long that I really badly wanted to do. And it felt, right it felt right to actually be executing on this piece and the cool thing was we had family and friends coming in and out of the house as i was working on it and they'd see it in the garage and i'd show everybody as i was working on it the kids would come in and have a look at it they wanted to see the progress regularly and yeah it was just a really fun piece that was very me doing right here is really just those final finishing touches is the highlights and all those tiny little details that you'd miss if you weren't paying attention. I really had so much fun working on this jacket because I've been making these videos for a year now and this is the first time I've made a video on 
a piece of work that just comes straight from my creativity, straight from my heart, straight from my personality and personal experience. So showing you guys this finally, I mean, this jacket was finished in June of 2022. So I've been sitting on this footage for quite some time and I'm just really excited to finally share it with my audience and get it out there. I do a lot of artwork in my day job and I teach a lot of art, but as an artist, obviously the main goal is to get to a point where you can make the art you want to make and that's what we all strive for. And doing other people's art by all means is empowering, engaging, and I love serving people by doing the art and, and being a conduit for the art that they want. But when you finally get to the end of the day and you spend a lot of your day doing art for other people, it can be very hard to find the time and energy to do the art that you want to do, but you have to do the art that you want to do. I mean, as a father, I struggle to find the time to do this art, but you kind of have to put it first. And I know we all need to make money and if we're working artists, we need to make money off our art. That's that's absolutely important. And do what you must to make money and pay your bills. But also work your butt off on the work that you want to do and create the work that you want to do because work like this, it was sent to you. And if, if you don't do that work, the universe is going to give to somebody else. It's going to give that idea to somebody else. And that's why I am so excited to unveil reincarnated art to the world because it means you guys can finally see it and I can finally give it out to the world and show you the work that is truly, fully, wholly and solely me. And in the hopes that one day I'll be able to do this work full time um, outside of all the other work that I do and get paid to do, you know, not only the work that I want to do, but work that's going to change the world and change the world for our kids and affect the world in so many ways and some will call me arrogant for that but i truly believe that it, it, it's it's self-assurance i'm certain that this work is going to change the world on either a major or just a small little scale making a change for the environment for the better for the future is about just small little actions and all it takes is one person watching this video and doing some upcycled art i know there's one of you out there, just one of you that's going to decide to purchase a piece of this upcycled art, whether it's a commission or whether it's one of my original pieces. And not only does that just warm my heart just to think about that happening and the potential of that happening, um, it's just exciting to see this idea finally just come to fruition and show you guys what I've been working so hard on for the past 12 months and this big project. And there's so much more to come. But despite all of that, I still managed to get it all done because I had to. It's just what being a professional artist is. And that's what the trick of it was, was to get up every single day and treat it like any other job. I got up every morning and I painted for three, sometimes four hours a morning. Some days I only got an hour in, but I still managed to just say, okay, in this hour, I'm going to do this color or that color. This little element, that little element. Because it takes time to mix your paints. It takes time to double check your colors. To do these fine little lines. But if you dedicate your time every single day. As if you're a professional. That's what a professional is. Someone who turns up every single day. And can do their work. Rain, hail or shine. Not because you get paid for it but because you can show up and do it. And that's what will make you stand out above all the rest. As you can see here, I didn't like the color of the eyes. I know I've already painted it, but we're gonna go back over it and just readjust that paint color because it's not perfectionism, it's getting it right.
we do the final reveal though, we have to do a very important part of the process, which is obviously take the tape off. In order to heat seal the paint, because it is Joe Sonia's fabric medium that was added to the Joe Sonia paints, I had to get the iron out and heat seal it. So I just put my drop cloth over top of it and heat sealed it with the iron. And one thing I did behind the scenes was I just took a paintbrush, stuck it into the Joe Sonia's fabric medium and did a couple of layers, basically of a sealant over top of the jacket. And all of this was done in order to really seal that jacket in and make sure that when I put it in the washing machine, it was good to go. These final steps are not worth overlooking. Now it's time to move on to the next part of my master plan. Prep it for commissions, prep it for a grant, prep it for an exhibit. We only live once, so why on earth would I wait around for someone else put this thing together when the idea was sent to me? <sighs> Normally I hold the microphone, I don't know what to do with my hands. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, all done. Thank you for watching this. <laughs> Welcome to Reincarnated Art. If you want to see more of this, please, Subscribe. We're going to have a lot more of this coming. Next up is a skateboard. Let's play a trailer for that really quickly, eh? I'm excited about that one. Sorry, I am puffing and painting. It is sweaty and hot today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see any more of my work, please go to jordantmystic.com. And if you want to watch any more of my videos, please watch this video here. Anyway, I've been your host, Jordan. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay weird. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I'm a little too creative for my own good and and I saw this ledge here. Can you see that? Um thought it would be a great idea to do like a jump off it just to for the end of the video. 
As you can see, I've got the camera set up there, ready to shoot. I'm just making sure the shot's perfect before I do this jump, because I'm only doing it once. So, if you're finding this video, it means I'm safe <laughs> and I didn't die. It might mean that I'm, I'm, I'm dead, actually. To my children, my family, I love you. <laughs> this is gonna be worth it. This is gonna be on the highlights at the end of the year, so you've gotta be courageous, right? <laughs> Let's see if this works. Oh, so I did it. And I forgot you need to land on one foot at a time. <laughs> but I did it. And I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I didn't say no to it. And I found, in the meantime, this really dope little spot. Look at this. What is that? That damn camera better have been recording. Oh, thank God. The red light's on. The things we do for our art, I am hobbling right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I definitely landed on my ankle, funny. Oof. I need a coffee after that. Hell, I need a strong drink. There goes the ambulance. Some serious going on over there. Probably wouldn't skate this thing, eh? And I'm an artist from Sydney, Australia. Keep this up. One more time. <clears throat> My name's Jordan T. Mystic. <laughs> oh. Ow. They sat on the iPhone that's. Ow. What are we gonna do? I don't know what to do with my top. Normally I hold the microphone, don't know what to do with my hands. 